actual breakfast. This is pre-breakfast. <laughs> bit of the day out the way. <laughs> Let's do this. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nutty Beauty Fitness here. Welcome to today's video. I have been so excited to finally film a video where I train like Natasha Ossian. It's French and I checked that that is how you pronounce Natasha's last name. Pretty sure you all know who Natasha is. Basically, Natasha is a real life superhero. She can sprint, she can swim, cycle, ski, she can rollerblade, she can do handstands, run ultra marathons, name a sport, she can do it. She's honestly an absolute weapon role model and an inspiration to so many people, including myself. I've been following Natasha since 2017, which is when I first got into fitness. In fact, my very first message to Natasha, and it read, 13th of January, 2018, you are a beast. <laughs> and just to let you know, nothing has changed. In fact, she is even more of a weapon now. Please guys, smash the thumbs up. I will just say right now, however many likes this video gets will equate to how many days I train like Natasha. 4K likes, I'm training like her for four days. 7K, we're doing the full week. <laughs> So you guys know what to do. I should also first mention Natasha became an Iron Man in 2014. Iron Man was one of the best, it was one of the best days of my life. Another thing to add to Natasha's resume. resume. <laughs> Her mental resilience is something else. Just an overall talented, gifted woman. And if she ever watches this, no, she won't, she won't. <laughs> Today, what are we doing today? So basically today, I am going to be training like Natasha when she was training for her Ironman. If you're thinking, but wait, Steph, you're training for an Ironman yourself, so it's not really any different to what you're doing right now. Wrong, <laughs> very wrong. For me personally right now, my training week roughly varies between eight to I think a maximum of 12 hours. On average, I'm spending about 10 hours a week training. Natasha was doing 26 hour training weeks. 26 hour training weeks. That's 16 more hours of training that we are plucking out of where are we plucking this out of? Insane. I tracked every single workout um, on Garmin. You can log into my Garmin Connect and everything was there. The type of session, the length of the session, the calories that I burn, my heart rate. And Guys, are you seeing this? Seven hours and eight minutes mountain cycle. Holy! Everything that I did for those three months is right here. I also do just want to highlight that Natasha had a coach. I have a coach. This word makes me cringe, but everyone is on their own journey and it's important to not, you know, compare yourself directly to someone else. Of course, obviously today I am doing that given I'm training like Natasha, but... Just pointing out that her training was specific to her. Natasha competed as a triathlete for three years before doing her Ironman. I am essentially learning how to ride a bike. <laughs> so two very different points in our Ironman training journeys, but hopefully the destination is the same. Um, so Natasha, I know you're a busy woman, but can you let the people know what today is gonna consist of? Three one and a half hour sessions, cause on the first day of the week I picked, I did three one and a half hour sessions. Fab. So we've got one and a half hour swim, one and a half hour strength session, followed by an hour and a half run. That's four and a half hours. Quick math. This is by far the most training I will have done in a day. Today will basically be a little snippet into 
what my training will look like in months to come. So, without further ado, I've got a swim, guys. Full boy, swimsuit, goggles, swimming cap. Just in advance, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to take this camera with me when I swim because there's no cameras allowed. But that's okay, because I can't tumble, turn and swim graciously like Natasha anyway. <laughs> Workout one starts now. Three hundred twenty-five meters. This has been a successful morning. I can't, by the way, hear as I'm speaking. Just a second. That's better. <laughs> I literally couldn't hear a thing because of the um. Wow. That was really refreshing. Best swim so far in terms of heart rate feeling really relaxed. I'll put my stats up there. Obviously the distance because the longest session I've had so far for swimming has been an hour and five minutes. I'm absolutely dripping. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'm also not used to swimming first thing in the morning, so it felt really good. The plan of action now, shower, wash my hair, get changed and then I've got a strength session. Also very good that I'm filming this video because I have not been strength training and I know I should. It's only gonna help me with the triathlon because the miles I need to get through, I need to be strong. So session one of three down. We are now ready. Natasha's training session is an hour and a half. It's quite a bit, <laughs> but we're gonna bang it out. We're basically doing full body. Functional and like mobility stuff is like Natasha's forte. I wanted to start training by 10.15. We're literally smashing it. I feel like I've been setting all the PRs today. That was my longest gym session. So yeah, I basically did a full body. Started with legs, then I did some back, then I did some shoulders. So now all I've got left to do is an hour and a half run. And I'm gonna make my way home. She's back. Filming YouTube videos makes me so bloody productive. That's awkward. It is currently 12.30. By this time normally, I've not even got one training session finished, let alone two. Absolute madness. But what I didn't actually realize, that swim session, 4,325 meters. That's 500 more meters than what I need to swim for the actual Ironman. <laughs> That's the good thing about doing something that you've never done before. Newbie games. This is great. Sorry, I'm getting way too excited. Right at the start when I first begun swimming, I remember I would swim like two lengths and then think, 
I'm done. But also, it's because I wouldn't know how to pace myself. It's not a sprint. Everything, you've just got to take time. You've got to be patient. And in time, I promise you, you will get better. I still have goggle marks from this morning, but we are going to make some lunch. Well, it's like a brunch. It's a meal. I don't know. I'm going to make something beautiful. Guys, look what Grant put in the fridge for me. It'd be rude not to. If you were me right now, what would you go for? Hash brown waffles or hash browns? I'm gonna go with hash brown waffles because they're cuter. I forgot we've got these. These are so good. They're a bit hot, but they're delish. Do you know what they're really good for? Cooking, cutting up and then putting in a, in a wrap, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't have wraps. <laughs> cool story. Also, I feel like I'm gonna get the worst doms of my life. Because obviously, I'm not used to, at the moment, weight training, let alone, you know, doing a, an hour and a half session. So I feel like my legs are probably gonna feel this in a couple of days. It's okay, I feel like the run will also do me good. I never knew that like recovery runs were a thing. I was like, how is that? A, how, are you, how are you trying to tell me that running is recovering? Like running is exerting energy. We've come a long way. Enough run talk. We've got mini chicken fillets to turn. That sounded like I was talking about my boobs. <laughs> I think that will do. Lunch is served. It's so nice out there, so I'm gonna try be done as quick as I can. Maybe I went a little bit he heavy, heggy, a little bit heavy on the eggs. That was a really beautiful thing. Essential Reese's peanut butter cups. Currently 1.30. It is that time. If I'm doing intervals, I really heat up. But with aerobic runs, because it's such a relaxed pace, I don't warm up. <laughs> In fact, I tend to get colder as I run. So I have this Gymshark zip up, and then I'm gonna put another. What else do I need? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a good YouTuber and I'm gonna take you with me. I look like a spy. <laughs> It's nearly quarter past two. I don't know why I'm talking to you as if I'm like going, cause you're coming with me. Let's go. I reckon I'm probably gonna go for a, just a sub five or a five minute. Nothing crazy. My strain right now for the day. Your balance level of strain going above 14.8 will promote fitness gains. We'll see where I'm at at the end of the day. Guys, it is kind of cold. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this. One hour and a half. Workout three starts. The plan is just to enjoy it. Bit of sun as well. It's actually not too bad. It feels actually really nice. K in my average pace is pretty much five minutes per k. It is pretty windy, by the way. Forty-five minutes down. We're basically halfway there. It's good to know that my body is able to adapt to the mileage. I feel like training is going in the right way. Average pace is just a tiny bit under five minutes. We've got 10 seconds to go and then we are done. We're done. Done it. Finished. I'm finished. Champion. <laughs> Honestly, I've enjoyed every single minute of this day. As I was running, I actually was thinking to myself, like, I do not take my health for granted. I know I'm in a very fortunate position to move my body, train in the way I'm training. 
and the fact that I'm striving for such a ridiculous goal and I feel like my body is really adapting it and it's a privilege to be able to move your body and you know I am grateful. I'm gonna put the stats over here. One hour and 30 minutes. 18.3k covered, 4.55 pace. That is actually my longest run since doing this training and it was fully aerobic. It was a productive training session. Session three of three, done. We did it. I really enjoyed this. I'm going to have a shower and then we will debrief over some pizza. Homemade pizza required. Pizza was the one bit of food that Natasha did show on this particular day of training, so I thought it only made sense to eat pizza in this video. Got the three training sessions done, and as I said, I was gonna show you the strain for today, which is calculated on my whoop. As you can see, we are at a very high day strain. That's 16.5, strenuous exertion. Definitely strenuous exertion today. But I'm gonna enjoy my pizza, um, really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I've had a great time training like Natasha. As I said at the start of this video, however many likes this video gets, at some point I will do the rest of that week's training if you guys want to see it. Of course, otherwise let me know if you would rather do a day eating like Natasha because she does always have beautiful looking food. I just will say one last thing. I know, I know you guys are gonna say, Ah, oh, do a video with Natasha, guys. I'm telling you now, from the very beginning when I started YouTube, Natasha was probably, and is probably still, who I would want to film a video with. I would love that, but I'm only a little channel. Do a little Instagram story, tag me, tag Natasha. It'd be really cool if she saw this video, but that is enough talking for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today really did give me a good insight into what training will kind of look like later down the line. You know, to me, a seven hour bike ride as a training session, I still can't kind of fathom that. I can't, I see that such a far away thing for me to do. I'll get there. Stay nighty, my friends. This pizza. So good. Is it alright? Comment pizza.